Hey, hi everyone, it's Kunzel here. So I am going to do a video about the companion set. I have actually completed mine already. There is only Dawn Orchard that I have not created yet. And those are only the only gift set I have not gotten from the companions. We have already completed the entire series. So see here, gifts wise, we have 59. Oh, I'm missing one. Okay. And then we have interactions. You need to get 30 interactions to unlock the full progress. Interaction is very dependent on your friendship level. I don't have the exact levels, but it looks to me like it's 1, 5, 10. Because I don't have characters with friendship at 10, 5, we only have friendship at 6. My guess is either 1, 6, 10 or 1, 5, 10. In terms of the number of dialogue that you have with them, the interactions, with there being 3 at friendship level 10, friendship level 1 you have 1, at either friendship level 5 or 6 you have 2, 2 interactions. As for the gifts, you get 2 gifts per companion, and that is the, uh, each gift right, is 20 primo gems, 20 kimura, and either the 2 of the uh, blue talent books, or uh, wait, let me see. Okay, right. It's two talent boots or the character ascension gem. The fragment level, the blue grade as well. So you know, it's only those two. So for me, I'm still lacking one more gift from my one of my companion. I probably need to go and check which one it is. Other than that, it's pretty much done at this point in time. I finished already. And you can see here, progress is also 100%. Vacation home. I have a new card for name card for it. I just want to quickly talk about a guide here in terms of how to quickly and efficiently get your companion and what are some of the mechanics to think out about. Okay, so let's jump ahead to when I was still building up some of the uh, companions. Okay, so the mechanics of each of the companion set is very simple. You once you go into the companion set itself, there will be an invite option that pops up, and uh, you can select, you can look at which are the available companions. Yeah, let me just yeah. So this is how it looks like the available companions. There's also banner here. All right. So we go ahead and place a banner here. I want to show how to do it for one companion, and then you cycle through each of them, all the characters that you have. You get two gifts per character, so if you have 32 characters in total, you should have 64. Assume you have all 15 companion set ready for uh, placement. I myself only have 14 at the day one itself. The last one I already intended to slowly get it up. So just place your companion over here. You notice that my banner disappeared. He appeared for a while and he disappeared. This is because they have a default one. And he's actually right in front of me. <laughs> okay, but I was trying to say is that what I was trying to say is that uh, there are cases where the companion will not be appearing where you place them, but that's fine. You just need to find them on the map where they are, which was what you saw. What I was doing, I was checking. Uh, you can see here the next location that he is at is actually there. You have to collect the gift from the respective set first before you can do any interaction with them. Assuming you have both of their companion set already placed. And I definitely recommend having both of their uh, companion set already placed so that it's a lot more convenient for you to uh, get all the gifts. Because otherwise, when you place a new uh, set, then you need to cycle through all the characters that should get the gift as well. Okay, so that's the challenge of it. Okay, so you see me moving my mansion because that's one of the fastest way to move your characters around and then just move in and out of the serenity pod. That's the faster ways to get to the mansion and also get to the specific placement that you are placing. In fact, the even faster way is also to always remove and replace whatever companion set that you are currently trying to work on right beside your mansion. That's one of the fastest way. Now you see here, Bandit is at the Weapon Forge even though I have a Noel there because they will always go to the placement that 
they will give you a gift before you can do interaction with them. Now he's going to be back at the uh, campsite. So here, right, you can either travel back or you can replace the tent. But my because you already have bandit placed there, you have to travel back. You can see bandit is over there. Okay, so this is the general gist of it. Each character they give you two gifts and three interactions depending on their friendship level. Try to claim the ground bounty after you have claimed all the gifts that you can claim. And then put the characters over there. Just turn off the voice. To lower the voice. Okay, so the main gist of it is to cycle through all the characters that you have, get all the gifts that you can, do the interaction every time you do, every time after getting two of the gifts, but assuming you have both placement ready, then you do the three interactions with them, assuming you have very free level 10 as well, otherwise just do whatever you can. And you will definitely be able to get the 100% achievement that I showed just now, because you only need 13 interactions and 20 gifts. So it's actually very easy to get those rainbow gems. And for me right now, I have 59 gifts. I'm still missing one. I have to go and find which is the missing character. Probably one of the first few characters that I was placing before I understood the mechanics. So this is the gist of it for the companion set. Make sure you have two of the set items there. Place the character. Get gifts from the both characters ready. Then go to the... Uh, do the interactions with them. You will be able to see on the map itself. Okay, ah, this is this is a previous one. So it's fairly straightforward for the companion set and gives a lot of primo gems because we're talking about 40 primo gems times 32 characters, assuming you have all the characters. If you don't have all the characters, we reduce them. You'll still be able to get about 800, 800 plus to 1000 at least. If you have more characters, then you get more. Like for example, for me, I would get about 1200. So I think most F2P players should be able to get at least... Uh, 600 to 800 if you are not too unlucky. Okay, so you see me doing the next character. We are cycling through for each of the, the tents. That's what I'm trying to do now. All right, as you can see, the reward is as such. And then you'll see that Tony disappeared. Why? Because he has been automatically assigned to the next placement set. And you'll see that there's companion gifts alert there. If you do a control M, sorry, not control M, you do, because different controls, I don't, I want to, I don't want to talk about the specific control, but if you look at your map itself, if you don't see the companion, then actually the companion is actually in the main building. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to move the main building to where I am. Right? You can also do it the other way. Move the placements where you want. But moving the main building is better when you already have the character assigned to the placements. And now you see me going in. We look again for Chong Yun. We check the map. Okay, one thing to note. If you have interactions that have not been done with the character, it will show up here with this data chat bubble, speech bubble, but not here. All right. So you see here level one, we do not have Chong Yun. So we will have to go to level two. I was actually wanting to talk to Yula to clear the interaction, but uh, for the purpose of video, we are going here and you see that Chong Yun is actually in this room. Okay. So that's the gist of how it works. I hope this content will be helpful to you so far uh, in terms of how to optimize and place your placements, how the mechanics work. In terms of the placement, just make sure that uh, you try to optimize by, for example, moving your mansion to where you are, jumping off the cliff, for the case of Emerald Peak anyway. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Uh, really, really do do work on the companion set because the gifts do add up in terms of the number of primo gems. I already have 1,200 from this companion set feature, which is nice. And I'm going to get another 80 primo gems once I have done a chat setup as well. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. If you like the content, remember the video and click subscribe for more. Yeah, bye.